This episode of Film Learning is brought to you by InVideo. This video sponsor! Woohoo! <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to the third in my trilogy of Grant does product reviews when people wanting to do tutorials. Fun, right? What? So today we're talking about an online video editor called InVideo. So unlike most software that you have to download and install on your computer, this thing is completely online. So you can grab all your motion graphics templates, all of your music, all of your audio effects, all that stuff, and edit your video. You can do it all online. So essentially what this means is once you've uploaded your videos, to your account, you can edit this thing anywhere on just about any computer as long as it has a web browser and a connection to the internet. That's pretty cool, right? Now it wouldn't be a sponsored video without a discount code, right? And the fine people at InVideo have given us a whopping 25% off their product. All you gotta do is use the code FILMLEARN at checkout and you'll get 25% off whatever plan you choose. So let's talk a little bit more about those plans. Now guys, before we get into the overview, I just want to talk about the pricing really quick, even though I've just mentioned that discount code, which is link in the description, but you don't need the discount code for the first tier because it is free. That's right, free forever. The one caveat being that it will have an in-video watermark, but you still have access to 4,500 plus templates, 3 million plus of their standard media library, automated text-to-speech, and you are limited to a 15 minute video duration per video but that's not really that bad at all. Next one here is business and that's $15 a month. Less again if you use my discount code. You can also try that for free for seven days. No watermarks, everything in the free plan, 10 iStock Media per month, 1 million premium media assets and 60 video exports per month. And of course, lastly we have unlimited $30 a month, once again, lower with the discount code. You can try it for free for seven days, no watermarks, everything in the free plan, 120 iStock media per month, 1 million plus premium media, and unlimited video exports per month. Okay, so we've talked about the plans and discount codes and the pricing and all yang yang. So how about now I shut up and we actually have a look at this damn thing. Okay, so here we are on the InVideo website and this is what it looks like when you log into any account, free, business, unlimited, whatever. This is what it's gonna look like. So you have the ability to start with the pre-made templates, so which there are 4,000 plus. You can start with text to video, or you can start with a blank canvas. So just completely start from scratch. Now, let's just have a quick look down here. So these are all the pre-made templates. So you can just scroll and scroll and scroll if you like, and say you find one, like just go, ooh, you know what? I like this karate one, you can click on it and it's gonna load up. And you can see here, you can preview them in widescreen, or if you're uploading on Instagram, you can go square one to one ratio, or you can just go vertical. So you can see in a fraction of a second, you can get a clear preview of what these are in three different aspect ratios. And say you wanna use that template, all you can do is just click use this template. It's gonna open that in a brand new project window for you to edit in less than 10 seconds. And you can see over here, you've got a whole bunch of stuff you can edit. You can change the animations. You can do whatever you like to this pre-made template. But I wanna start from scratch. So let's get rid of this. Okay, I did forget that I want to actually build a title card for this episode. So I'm gonna do that really quick with one of these pre-made templates. So instead of just you know, doing a search for it, I'm just gonna fire it out. Let's just see what we can get. Oh, hang on. I found one I liked. I found one I liked. I like this. Let's just have a look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. So I'm just gonna hit use that template. It's gonna load it up in, and it's done. So all I'm gonna do is use this intro here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly delete everything else. Okay, so I've deleted everything but the title. So if we just have a quick look at this. Cool. So of course, I'm gonna have to do something about that text. So let's quickly do that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of top five shows. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to put film. Learning. Oh, let's do that in capitals. Done. Okay, cool. Let's check it out. You know what? I'm cool with that, but I want it to go a little bit longer. So, I'm going to drag that out. That's going to go all the way to six seconds. And you see the music actually auto adjusted. Nice. So, let's check it out one more time. Okay, that is done. All I'm going to do is hit download and share. Hit export. It's rendering it out now. Done. So now all I have to do is hit download. And done. So that was how easy it was to make a custom title for my show in InVideo. Now let's see how it goes with a little bit of video editing. Okay, so you can see now that when I come back to InVideo, my project is already waiting and ready to go. But we're gonna start from a blank canvas and just make sure that's wide because that's what we're working in. But you can also work in Instagram and vertical if you want. But I'm just gonna hit make a video. Okay gang, so here we are in the blank canvas and as you can see, it's not entirely blank. There's a bit of text, there's an upload logo and there's a background, all of which I am planning on deleting right now. But the easiest way to delete that is to import some media. So what I'm gonna do is just hit upload media. Now I've got a 4K outtake of my AE Juice episode. I'm gonna also grab my title that I just made and I'm also gonna grab a sponsored text and I'll just grab WAT there just for um, posterity. So all it's gonna do is just quickly upload those files. And as you can see here, it supports files up to 800 meg. Now I've only done a couple of very, very short files so this shouldn't take too long. This one in particular is just a 4K clip and WAT is also a 4K clip. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag our sponsored text in and add a new scene. Now, anytime you drag a clip onto the timeline, it's gonna come up with this. Would you like to trim your video before adding to the scene? We don't wanna trim this one at all. So all I'm gonna do is just said use full video. Now that I've done that, I can easily just go in and delete this one here because it's simply a placeholder. We're also gonna go over here and delete that placeholder music, gone. Now, this is truly a blank canvas. Well, apart from what we've put in there. Now again, you might just think that you've just got to drag and drop the next clip in here and you'll get an option to add a new scene. Not the case. We can do that, but it's not the easiest way to do this. What I'm gonna do is hit timeline and it's gonna open this scenes timeline. We wanna build out all this stuff in one scene. So what I'm gonna do now is grab our title, drop that in as a layer, we want to use the full video once again, guys, not trimming this one at all. And all we're going to do is just drag it over. And there we go. They butt up against each other. Now, it should be noted that this one, in particular, the sponsored one is 4K. So what we're going to do is just drag this up. Drag it up. Now those ones will fit together. Beautiful. Okay, next one in, I'm just gonna grab this one, drop it in. Now, this one we do wanna trim. I deliberately put an outtake in this one so we can actually trim it. So we'll just push play. Hey guys, and welcome to a hey guys, and Okay, so the video actually starts right there when I start to furrow my brow. So I realize I've gotta start actually talking again. Hey guys, and welcome to Okay. 
that's good. I'm just gonna hit done, and all that's gonna do is import in what I've left there, okay? So we're gonna bring that over here. So that'll cut straight from the title right here. So all I'm gonna do, guys, is this is a 4K video. Very easy to just drag it out. to fill the screen. Done. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've done. This video sponsored. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what we've got here, despite that face. <laughs> this one's adorable though. Okay, so that's a pretty basic edit, but it's not too bad for intro. We've trimmed our video, we've made a custom title, and we've added our sponsored text. The only thing I really wanna do is just add a nameplate. So all we're gonna do here is just go down to text, and we can just scroll down until we find one that we like. So if you hover over one, you'll see how they animated it. Let's just click on Aston's, whatever an Aston is. I'm guessing that's just a lower third. I don't I don't mind this one. Let's just use this one. I think we're just gonna just drag and drop it. Now let's just see what that looks like. Hey guys and welcome to finally another episode. What I'm gonna do is also trim this right here. Because we don't need to go for the entire intro of the video. done. Let's now have a look at our intro. This video sponsor, hey guys, and welcome to finally so there you have it guys, in a few short minutes we've created an intro for our video. We've custom made a title, we've added some nameplates, and we've trimmed our video. Now, of course, gang, if we wanted to, we could add some music, we could add some more images, we could grab some video off one of their stock media websites if we wanted to. So you can see down here, guys, there is a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't even touch on. And that was kind of the point of this video. I've seen tons of YouTube videos where they've gone through the stock images, they've gone through the stock library, they've touched on the text. But what I really wanted to showcase is the video editor. It's simple, it's basic, but it's very easy to use and it's very intuitive. And the best part is it's completely online. So it doesn't matter what computer you're on, the editing software is completely the same. Okay gang, that was a little bit of an overview, a tour and a tutorial of using NVIDIA, the online editor. As you can see, accessing the templates and editing them is pretty damn easy and the basic editor, I mean, it's hard to stuff things up really. Are you gonna be editing the next blockbuster on here? Probably not but for a basic editor that's completely online, I think it's pretty good. And once again, guys, you can check this out completely for free by just signing up for a free account and you know, just having a bit of a peek around and test it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. You can also do seven day free trials of the other two plans and just see what they have to offer. Link down in the description. And if you do end up, you know, purchasing it, use that code and get that 25% off. But for now guys, that is gonna conclude the trilogy of product reviews on the Film Learning channel. I am doing my best to get my packs and tutorials back up and running, guys. I really am. It's just I've started a new job and things are ridiculously hectic around this place. I mean, if you saw the last two episodes, you have some idea of what I'm dealing with. So for now guys, my children are still asleep. I'm gonna close this video out and actually relax for a second. So until I see you next time, keep learning.